Okay, so if you're watching this video, this is gonna be a speed review because I'm a busy guy, you're a busy guy, and we ain't got time to waste. That being said, this audio that you're listening to is off the DJI mic. I, uh, I shaved the top part because I didn't like the wind muff. And now I think it is better, maybe, I don't know. But if you can tell for the first 20 seconds, I've been using this DJI mic and my room is incredibly echoey. It is not the best environment for recording. I live in New York City, there's hard walls everywhere. It's just not ideal. And I've been hunting for a bunch of different mics to do a good job of isolating my voice, don't have resonant frequency, don't have a lot of uh, handling noise, you name it, I've been on the hunt and I've tried everything. The Shure SM7B, the Samsung Q9U, the Audio-Technica BP40, which I thought would be my favorite mic. I kinda do love this mic. Ashton Stealth, you look at my channel and you'll see my history of microphones. Um, I also have the Audio Tech Night AT eight seven five R, the shotgun mic. I like, just ripped it off. I never use this thing. I've used this maybe twice, uh, and it's mostly because I have to do a lot of post processing in my audio to get it to sound good. But that's why you're here. That's why you're watching because I found two mics that I think are amazing. So for the remaining of this video, I'm gonna use those mics. But let me show you them first. Let's put this down. I don't know where to put them. It's in between these two mics. I've tried all the mics. This one's more Shure SM7B style. This is more BP40 style. They both are really good, but we're gonna do a no processing audio test. You just listen to it, six minute review, and you decide which one's best for you. Now again, just to preface, there's a lot of noise in here in my room. Uh, in my complex in New York City, there's sirens, there's construction, there's grinding, there's tapping. The maintenance guy was just here. It's nuts. And you'll see what this sounds like in a real world environment. I will not tweak anything. I'm gonna set the levels to about equal on the mics. I'll let you know if they're on phantom power or not. I think I'll probably just do straight, no phantom power, just DB off my Tashcam X6. So that just prefaces the scenario. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you both mics. And in my opinion, these are the two best budget mics you can get for podcasts, talking head videos for YouTube, streaming, you name it. Um, they don't really have any special controls. They're both just XLR inputs at the back. And again, these are budget mics, but we're talking about quality bang for buck. Construction wise, these both things, both these mics are tanky. This one's nice and tanky, nice build, nice simple design. It looks good on camera. It's like a little torpedo. This one looks like a mini Shure SM7B. It has a windscreen and it has a grill like a Shure SM7B. Uh, aesthetic wise, I think I like the Audio Technica better aesthetic wise. This is probably my choice aesthetically. It just looks nice, clean and simple, professional. The PD70 isn't far behind. If this is like a seven, this is a 6.5 aesthetically. Where the big difference is between these two mics is gonna be on the, the mounts, these mounts right here. I'm gonna up the audio on this because I know. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we just upped the audio on the DJI mic to 11 just to make it fair. That being said, aesthetically, this one is a seven, this is a 6.5. The mount on this is not my favorite because it's a half yoke mount, which is kind of. It depends on your setup. It might look cool, might look not cool. This one's just a standard mount, so it just goes on your uh, arm, which I have an arm right here, and this just clips in there, and then I would just talk. So yeah, um, can't go wrong aesthetic-wise. Now, when it comes to plosive rejection and sound, we're gonna hear that right now. Um, this one has like an internal pop filter. This has an external one. Uh, cheat code, you can put a Shure SM7B one on here, and it looks a little bit better, because this one's kind of like, uh, it's, it's not anything crazy. Uh, Height-wise, they're about the same height. Uh, but the good thing about the Audio Technica one, if you're using it in a hand-holding scenario, this one gives you more purchase, purchases of the amount of grip that you have on here versus this one, because it's just a small amount because there's so much grill on there. I'll actually show you. On this mic, the Audio Technica, you have more grip space from here to here. On this one, you only have this tiny little thing. So if you have this in a hand-holding scenario, the Audio Technica is the better choice. If you're gonna be on the mount and never hand holding anything, the PD70 might be for you. Yeah, but enough about the aesthetics of the mic, let's hear what they sound like. All right, now let's give it a listen. This is the Audio Technica. Both of the mics are connected to the same recorder, 
with the same amount of DB being pushed in, um, there is construction in the background. There is the same environment with the noisy wall, a uh, bouncy, hard surface walls, whatever. I am monitoring myself right now, which is kind of cheating because you can kind of gauge what you're going to sound like. So we're going to pull this off. And um, now I'm talking at just a normal volume. I am looking at the audio signals, um, which gives me an idea of what I'm at. But realistically, this is how I would talk just holding this mic. My hair's a little crazy. My beard's a little crazy. Everything's a little crazy. This week has been a little crazy, which is why I'm so slow on pumping out videos. Uh, but that being said, um, here's a noise floor test. Again, there is construction and there's like voices in the background. Uh, let's do an off access rejection test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk from the front of the mic and I'm gonna slowly start moving the mic away, turning so it's 90 degrees away from my face. And this is what it sounds like completely rejecting the sound of my voice. And I'm gonna bring it right back towards my mouth. And that gives you an indication of what the noise isolation on this mic is. I think it does an amazing job of pulling the sound from my voice and isolating the background noise as much as it is. Like I said, there's construction like everywhere. So let's switch to the PD70 and you guys let me know if you like that one better. Okay, and this is the PD70. Um, if you got rid of this bracket, this half yoke mount, it could be a mic that you could handhold. But when I was monitoring myself, I heard myself bumping the XLR cable and it was very obnoxious. And then um, my rings tapped it a couple times. Uh, the other one just has more purchase because I don't, I'm not worried about this mount getting in my way that being said this one has a big windscreen and aesthetically it looks a little bit different i think the at2040 looks better but this is about the pd70 the pd70 half yoke mount kind of gets in the way not great for hand holding but if i was on a yoke if i was like talking it'd be about this distance away from my mouth uh, there's drilling going on outside and just overall room noise again they're both plugged into the same recorder with the same amount of db pu pumped in nothing on the camera settings have changed there's always things you can change to get a cleaner signal my tashcam x6 i think is a decent recorder but honestly i get white noise from time to time it's just you know it comes with the territory you can clean it up in post that being said let's do a uh, access rejection test so i'm going to start talking from the front of the mic and i'm going to start rotating the mic around until i get to the 90 Way. we're gonna go back and now we're back at the correct angle so yeah this mic i like it for the sure sm7b aesthetic but if i was on a podcast holding this mic i probably wouldn't be the happiest person just because of its small size if it's on a mic arm and you need noise isolation you know what it sounds like because you just heard it i personally think that if i had to go with a budget microphone at this price point neither of these are bad they're both good um the personas i've seen a lot of reviews and people said that you can tweak it uh, to match your voice better, the 2040 kind of gives you a more broadcast sound out of box. You cannot go wrong with either of these. Find out what they have in stock in your area. Pick one of these up. Don't waste your money on the Shure SM7B. I had the Shure SM7B. I was not crazy about it. It did not uh, give me the best sound ever. And again, it's, it's subjective. You know, sound is so, so subjective. You know what? I feel like I'm giving the PD7 an unfair advantage. Let's switch to my AT2040. So yeah, hopefully now you know which mic you like better based off of the way it sounds on my voice, which is kind of always ridiculous. It's funny watching tons of videos to figure out if you like a mic based off the way it sounds on somebody else's voice who sounds nothing like you or looks nothing like you, not even the same environment. But if you want a mic that doesn't break the bank, sounds good, isolates noise, then one of these two mics is the right choice. The Rode Pod mic is kind of heavy and bulky, not great, but a lot of people default to these two options, the PD70 and the Audio-Technica 2040. If I can go back and I had the advice that I have and the knowledge I have now is the one I would go for instead of a $400 mic or a $500 mic set up like Shure SM7B, Cloud Lifter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, this is not a mic channel, but stay tuned for more gear review and eventually vlogs in New York City one day, maybe.